Hey hey you awesome one and welcome to a new video series that I'm just starting this is an introductory video um into what I want to talk to you about I want to talk to you about how you should live your life in order to be happy and be successful because I know better there are some rules that society has and success has and there are a lot of them so you should start a list okay because you have you should and have to write it down um first of all if you want to make decent money and you want people to respect you, you should get a diploma, a degree in something. Uh, you can't just go around doing stuff. It's weird. Um, if you want to be successful, you should start making, um, uh, thinking of... Uh, what uh, is your passion? How do you monetize that? How do who are you talking to? Which is your target audience? So a lot of lists, a lot of lists, a lot of organizing, a lot of planning. If you don't have a plan, you should always have a plan. If you don't have a plan, you cannot get anywhere. Have I said enough? Blah blah blah. Okay, this was the introduction for the series. Cut the crap. So, cut the crap on everything that I just said. Um, basically, I'm not bashing anyone and anyone's ideas. If you agree with them, good for you. And stand up for them. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm standing up for my ideas and what I believe in. Um, the purpose of this series is to express myself, own my ideas and methods, express them, um, and you can agree or disagree with me, you are free to do that. Some people might actually agree and say, yes, I wanted to say this, I, I do believe in what you're saying, but I didn't know exactly how to express it, or I didn't want to actually say it publicly, but yes, you are right, this is exactly how I feel about it. Or at least hearing those other perspectives making you think about the situation because things are not black and white. If I'm expressing my opinion, maybe juggling your ideas, juggling your conceptions, concept, concept, sorry, English is not my first language, concept, perspective on life in general. Probably most uh, a bit more business related uh, oriented, but uh, business is part of life. So yeah. Um, and I was actually talking on another video on how getting pissed off is a good thing. Let's make it a good thing. Not actually acting on it, like being getting to the part where you are angry and maybe uh, kick someone's ass but acknowledging that something pisses you off and that trigger is something that you're super passionate about. And to be honest, I have a long, a long, long list. I don't really like lists, but I have one of things that piss me off. And I'm putting them down on this, from this imaginary list on an actual list. And those are going to be the episodes of this video series on Cut the Crap. And being this an introductory video, uh, I will admit this this might be like a general thing that pisses, pisses me off. By the way, I just want to make a, a parenthesis. I do not encourage negative energy. And this is not about being negative about anything. Okay, it's just expressing, expressing my feelings, not good to bother them up. Just own it and say it. And again, not bashing anyone. You can agree or not. Um, so, parenthesis done. The thing that 
bugs me the most and it's a general one so it's really good for the introductory video shoulds there are so many goddamn shoulds in this world and people who give advice with shoulds like if i want to hear advice from someone i want i ask them because i genu genuinely want to know what they would do in the situation okay People who, and they would give advice, well, I would blah, blah, blah. Or how I see it, this is da, 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 okay? People who go with should are people who give opinions without give advice. Opinion, their opinion as an advice without no one asking it for them, for their opinion. Uh, they think they know it all and they know better and this is... How you solve this, this is the way to go, it's the best way, it's the only way, this is why you should do this, because I know better. And it pisses me off, basically, when they actually believe that that's what you should do, and it's such, it's so limiting, and whenever I see people limiting themselves, it pisses me off. I'm sorry, I hope I'm not going to say this too often, but seriously, in, in the, those times, I really want people to see there are so many possibilities. We live in a time when there are a lot more possibilities than before, right? Okay, like society is more open-minded than usual. Although they have all the shoes, I don't know exactly why. Anyway, the point is, whenever you get to a should, and I really believe when people give a should advice, they don't have the best. Um, it's not that they 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 really think that they are helping, so they are not being mean in any way, but. The reasoning, the yeah, the reasoning. I think it is for that advice. It's not a proper one because it comes from a limiting belief, and it doesn't come from the heart, from the intuition, from what I really think, what I really feel that I would do. It comes. It's an advice coming from fear when they say. When they give you a shit advice, so always be careful when this happens, when you get this kind of advice. Okay? And then I want to say something else, and I forgot. Okay, what I want is to tell you, like seriously, be creative in any kind of situation that you are in. There are an infinite number of possibilities trust your intuition we have this this guiding system in ourselves this intuition that sees the future sees everything knows actually knows what's best for you so listen to that and get creative and get creative and be bold enough to trust that intuition and no matter what other people tell you, no matter how illogic the situation is, go for it. It might be the best thing for you, but if you don't trust it, if you don't trust your own self, why would you trust someone else when they give you advice? Why would you be insecure? on what you truly feel but be secure in what other people tell you this is what you should do because this is what's going to happen if you do this they cannot know they they are not clairvoyant and every every situation is different no matter how similar it might be it's different so please the conclusion let's embrace a world without should and embrace and accept all possibilities 
and be creative in every moment. Creativeness, creativity, creativeness, that's this one, is this creativity is not in drawing, in making art, it's in making life your artwork. Do it. Okay. That's it. Thanks for watching the first uh, episode of the series. Cut the crap. So, see you on the video. Don't forget, it is great to be awesome. So, do that. Bye, guys.